शास्त्री जी महाराज श्री धर्म जी वांडास जी स्वामी जीवन दर्शन हाईलाइट्स फ्रॉम हिज लास्ट फोर्थ इंटरनेशनल टूर रेव स्वामी जी एंड अ ग्रुप ऑफ सेंट्स विजिटेड अमेरिका लैटिन अमेरिका कैनेडा यूरोप एंड अफ्रीका टू प्रोपिगेट द सर्व जीव हितवा ऑल बेनिफिशियल मैसेजेस ऑफ द स्वामी नारायण सेक्ट एंड इंडियन कल्चर बिकॉज ऑफ द इन्विटेशन ऑफ एंथ्यूसियास्टिक एक्स स्टूडेंट्स एंड डेवोटीज द इंस्पिरेशन एंड डिजायर ऑफ डेवोटीज टू प्रैक्टिस सत्संग इंक्रीज सब्सटैंशियली बिकॉज ऑफ दीज टूर्स हैंस टू अवेल द फर्दर एडवांटेज ऑफ रेव स्वामी जी द एक्स स्टूडेंट्स इंसिस्टेड दैट रेव स्वामी जी शुड कम टू अमेरिका अ फोर्थ टाइम हाउएवर because of his old age rev swami ji denied attending the international tour in latin america through the sincere efforts of the ex students shri chatur bhai babriya and shri pravin bhai pithadiya many mumukshu aspirants stopped consuming liquor and meat joined the swami narayan holy fellowship and became pure vegetarians they changed their names and customs according to hindu culture these aspirants desired that rev swami ji come to latin america and grace them considering the heartfelt demand of these kind and sincere new devotees rev swami ji agreed to the foreign tour with the memory of god without caring for his health cordial welcome rev swami ji the saints and the devotees who accompanied them entered the airport terminal after the completion of the immigration process there was no limit to their surprise when they were welcomed by a mammoth gathering of devotees and saints when they emerged these entirely new devotees stood with discipline and sang the dhun of lord swami narayan's name with a melodious voice they had heard much about rev swami ji yet they had never seen this capable saint in person love and pleasure filled the hearts of these devotees at the sight of this pious saint each devotee held a beautiful bunch of multicolored flowers in their hands both ladies and gentlemen were loudly hailing jai swami narayan and they welcomed rev swami ji with great respect the ladies stood in a separate section rev swami ji and the saints were pleased to see such a wonderful satsang in a foreign land all were offering a mental bow to the limitless grace of ishtadev shri hari they then became ecstatic holiness seemed to have completely transformed this foreign country Rev Shastri ji Maharaj was eager to inspire those foreigners to perform satsang and his desire came to pass all the devotees welcoming the saints had a rosary around their necks and tilak chandalo adorned their foreheads there was great joy and gratitude in their hearts ex students chatur bhai babriya pravin bhai pithadiya and jatin bhai kanti bhai pithadiya guided all of these new foreign devotees and worked enthusiastically with them day and night with unprecedented zeal hence they had prepared this new field through god's great grace and the holy cordial blessings of rev shastri ji maharaj after their cordial welcome at the airport Rev Swami ji and the visiting saints arrived at their accommodations to be met by another large gathering of devotees there were many new faces and their language was unknown but they all had hearts filled with feelings of holy love they all realized that a great saint from india had sanctified their country by visiting them there all were experiencing great joy in the assembly shri chatur bhai and pravin bhai introduced the saints with great joy in their hearts background of revolution shri chatur bhai babriya the younger brother of shri dhiru bhai babriya went to santo domingo city the capital of the dominican republic in latin america for medical studies due to the inspiration of rev swami ji he intended to introduce the swaminarayan sect to these foreigners 
He later came into contact with Maria Bogdila, an ex-secretary of the United Nations Organization, UNO. Chaturbhai presented an English copy of Shikshapatri to this scholarly lady. She was very impressed after reading it as she had previously studied many religions and understood the significance of this small booklet. She expressed her joy to Chaturbhai and later translated Shikshapatri into Spanish, published it at her own cost and propagated it among the public in that region. This lady accepted the satsang, holy fellowship, and took up the task of public welfare by making others followers as well. Several families later adopted satsang because of this and became initiates with correct understanding, many also changing their names, customs, food habits, and professions. 